Hello friends, this is Abhishek from Wisdom Trainings. Our website is www.loadrunnerjmeter.com. Today we are going to discuss about Gmeter plugins. Now the first thing that would come into mind is what are plugins, right? So plugins, okay. So the plugins are something that we can say which allows you to have additional functionality, okay. Or you can say enable just to have just to have additional say just a minute functionality. Okay. Now what kind of additional functionality? And now in JMeter, what what is a JMeter plugin? right so as we all know that jmeter provides us many things inside it okay for example there are so many things if i go to add there are some threads right there are some thread groups that is a simple thread group setup thread group and tear down thread group and uh, other things as well for example some config elements and so on now a major concern would be right now for thread groups there are so many plugins for threads. Right now we have a simple thread group which allows us, you, uh, us to provide, the, say, set the number of users that we want to have and the ramp up time and the loop count. Apart from that, we cannot say specifically set that uh, the user should increase this time and then they should de decrease this time, right? So now for this, we, we have plugins, okay? We have some custom plugins, the plugins that were uh, that are not part of Apache project, but yes, some people have created those plugins so that we can use them. Okay. Now for this additional functionality, we need to have a plugins manager. Okay. Now the question is, what is a JMeter plugins manager, right? So plugins manager is something which allows us or we, we can say which enables us to add or remove plugins from JMeter. Okay. Now the question is where we can find JMeter plugins manager, right? So, we can find JMeter plugins manager over here in options, but as you can see, it is not shown, right? Function helper dialog look and feel and so many settings, but there is no JMeter plugins manager, right? Now for to have JMeter plugins manager, you need to do something. So you need to install it. Okay. So the question is how we can install it, right? How to install? plugins manager okay so now we would be letting us say learning how we can install plugins manager the installation is very easy okay now the first thing is it um, it is hosted on google Proton code so the link is this that is code.google.com jmeter plugins it was earlier hosted over here but now it has been redirected it has been moved to this new website that is jmeterplugins.org okay now over here what we have to do is you have to click on the install link the moment you get to this link okay you would be able to see the option that is download plugins manager manager.jar so we would be downloading this file okay now, once the file has been downloaded successfully, what we would be doing is, oh, I had discarded the file, I have to download it again. Okay, so keep the file, go to the directory, okay, show in folder. And this is the file, so I have the file over here, I'll copy it. Now what I'll do, I would be going to the, the directory where my JMeter is copied, okay, or you can say installed. So this is the directory where my JMeter is installed, okay. Now before doing anything, what you have to do is, you have to close the instance of JMeter that you are running, okay. Now I'll close it, I, I wish not to save the anything, so I would be clicking no. Now over here in the JMeter directory, what you have to do is, you have to go to this directory that is lib. Inside lib directory, you have to get inside this ext lib directory. 
Now, what you have to do is you have to paste the file that you have copied. Now, this is the JMeter Plugins Manager. Okay. Now, as we have the JMeter Plugins Manager copied over here. Now, what I'll do, I'll go back to the bin directory, the root directory of JMeter and then bin directory and I would be running Apache JMeter.jar. Okay. The, and now, I've made the installation of JMeter Plugins Manager. It is very simple. All you have to do is to download the file and then copy it inside lib slash ext. Okay. So, download plugins. manager okay and dot jar and copy it inside copy it inside lib okay I would be marking it inside the commas so lib slash ext okay this is the directory where you have to keep the file okay you have to copy the file over here Okay, once you've copied it, restart JMeter and now as a result, you would see that in options, there is an option plugins manager. Now it is telling me that it has some upgrades. So open it and now these are the things that it has uh, available us. Okay, now over here you would see that, okay, I'm not able to show you everything right now. Just a minute. So again plugins manager this is the window now we can have plugins installed okay so available plugins there are so many plugins available to us okay so you can try out these plugins right now we would be working with say custom thread groups so this is the plugin I would check it now to install it what you have to do is just a minute okay so yeah that would be better now as you can see to install it you have to just check the option and you have to check the item then you can see read about it as well if you want to now what you can do is you can click on apply changes and restart jmeter the moment you click on this button it would be downloading the plugin as you can see on the left part it is downloading the plugin and it is now installing it okay so now the one the moment it is done installing it it would restart jmeter and once the jmeter has been restarted you would be able to see that the plugin is reflecting over here in jmeter okay so my jmeter is almost restarted now if i go or right click over here in test plan and go to thread groups you can see that there are some thread groups listed over here apart from the three usual thread groups that is thread group setup thread group and tear down thread group right there are five more thread groups now three are from blaze meter as you can see the see the prefix is bzm okay bzm bzm stands for blaze meter okay so these plugins are managed by blaze meter bzm okay so blaze meter okay and the other one is jp at the rate gc so this means that jmeter plugin at the rate google code okay as this was a project which was which was hosted on google code so that is why jmeter plugin at google code okay now as you can see we have more thread groups say if i use this ultimate thread group okay or say stepping thread group you would see that it would be increasing the users step by step okay it would be going step by step you can set to the things over here say this would be starting 100 threads then how much time it has to wait and so many things so this is how the graph would be the users would be increased one by one okay 10 users would be added at each, each and every step okay and then after load uh, generating the load for some time for example we have set the uh, hold load for 60 seconds so for these 60 seconds the it would be holding the load and then it would be stopping five seconds every one five users every one seconds so we have this flexibility over here now if we did not have this plugins manager installed and this plugin particularly this plug custom thread groups plugin installed we won't be having this kind of functionality okay so this is why we are using this plugin okay 
and now this uh, the plugins manager has enabled us for more things okay for more for more things that we can do with jmeter okay the, those things which were not earlier available with us right in the same way i can add more thread groups as well say arrivals thread group is there concurrency thread groups is uh, thread group is there free form arrivals thread group is there ultimate thread group is there right so there are different types of thread groups which have been made available to me in the same way you have more plugins okay all you have to do is install them so you can install them from here you just have to check the plugin you want to install for example we can install another plugin as well that is performance so over here this is the plugin perform server performance monitoring okay all i have to do is check this option and then i have to click on apply changes and restart jmeter the moment i click on this it would be adding perform monitor okay and you can see that in this that is the listeners okay so in the listeners you would be able to see the perform monitor as well so all you have to do is do you need something look for that thing you have the plugin install that plugin and start using that plugin it is very simple okay so this is about installation of plugins manager and jmeter plugins okay for more videos you can refer to loadrunnerjmeter.com i would write it over here as well okay and you can subscribe to our channel as well that is wisdom trainings okay so this is our website loadrunnerjmeter.com thank you